I told you. I told you. Clay Thompson is signing a three-year deal worth $50 million with the Dallas Mavericks and will be going there by way of sign and trade, um, I believe, with multiple teams. Uh, Charlotte seems to be involved, and then obviously the Warriors and the Mavericks also involved. But this is like, again, like this is so predictable. Not necessarily the Mavericks. I mean, I think the Mavericks were definitely the front runner just because of where they finished in the postseason. And like, I think Clay just fits in so perfectly to what they're doing. Um, so, you know, th- this kind of seemed like a no brainer to me. And, you know, maybe Clay and his camp were kind of thinking the same thing as well. Um, but this is interesting. You know, this is officially the end of the Splash Brothers, like, which is crazy because I just, I remember like being in like middle school and high school and like watching Steph Curry and Clay Thompson just like dominate the league and like it never felt like there would be a time where um, they wouldn't be on the same team. And, you know, that day has come, which is crazy, absolutely crazy. So, you know, I think the Mavs are doing a good job in free agency. Obviously, this is the biggest signing they're probably going to have in free agency. They also signed Najee Marshall. Um, so that's going to be a good pickup for them as well. So I think they're making the right moves um, to kind of, you know, put themselves even above where they were last year. So if they can, you know, continue to have the same success they had in the postseason this coming season as they did last season, you know, I think they're going to be good for years to come, you know. And, and granted, you know, Clay is, you know, I think he's 34 years old, you know, so by the time this contract's up, he's going to be 37. So I'm kind of thinking Dallas is like, all right, like we're trying to win like right now. We have Luka, we have Kyrie, we have Clay, who's going to be our third, you know, option. He's going to be a spot up guy. He's going to hit open shots. He's going to hit a lot of threes. You know, it's it's going to be a very interesting team. But I honestly think this is like the exact style that Clay needs. I think Clay is going to be so successful playing with like two primary ball handlers like Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving. Like it's going to be it's going to be amazing. I really feel like it's going to be like a revitalization of Clay Thompson. Um, you know, last year wasn't great for him, but I think this coming year is going to be better. You know, I think it's just going to be a lot better. I think he's going to do better you know maybe I'm wrong and he's gonna continue to kind of decline but I just feel like this situation is gonna be so much better um, than what he was in last year Um, and kind of the frustrations he was having with trying to fit into the same role um, that he had you know previously you know prior to his injuries when they were you know a top team you know they're just not really a top team anymore with how competitive the West is you know you still I, I still wouldn't bet against Steph Curry and you know at the time clay thompson because you never know when they're going to heat up but you know it it kind of seems like that's it's coming to a close and it's kind of sad um you know i i'm happy for the rest of the league because now they can finally be like all right we don't kind of go through these guys just throwing up threes all the time and they're making all of them you know that'll be exciting that you know the league really is changing you have this whole new influx of stars coming in like anthony edwards and Um, You know, you have teams that have never really been good before in their history, you know, being good year after year. Um, So it's going to be very interesting. Um, But free agency has been pretty crazy already, so um, I'm excited. But, yeah, I told you, Clay the Mavericks. 